What's up my fellow programmers, in this video we are going to learn about how you can add animations to your websites using Blotty files. So as you can see that I already have my react app set up and running. So if you guys are interested in how to set up a react project, you can check out this video which I which I have also linked in the description below. So to use Lottie files in our React project, we will need a node module and that node module is called Lottie React. So to install this package, I link this package in the description below. You just have to uh, press this, it will get copied. Then you can come to your VS code or any code editor that you are using. You can paste that command. And if for some reason you are facing some issues or errors, uh, just add this command after the npm install legacy dash peer dash steps. Now what this does is that uh, because react 18 has just released some packages haven't been updated to better work with react 18. That's why we use legacy peer depths. And after that you just have to run your react js project using npm start. And while that's starting, let's look into our app.js. So let's remove this logo as we won't be needing it anymore. So what I'm thinking is that uh, I'll replace this React logo with a uh, Lottie animation. Okay, so I have LottieFiles.com opened up. And this is what you'll see when you open the link in the description. So I'll just search for a, uh, I mean, favorite, and I've already done that. So these are what I got in the result. You can use uh, any animation that you want. So let's try this to edit it and see if we are able to edit the. So as you can see that we have different layers here so let's open up tail and change its color to uh i think black just to see and as you can see that there are a lot of colors so we might not be able to see it so let's change it on the wings or body yeah body i think body would be best let's make it light blue change this to red so as you can see that the colors are changing now it is taking effect and once you're happy with what you've done and export it and you'll get the json file here so let's use this animation so to use it i'll just drag and drop it in my react project and let's change its okay, sorry and uh, let's change its name to parrot.json. Oh, sorry. Parrot.json, save it. And let's import it here from dot slash parrot.json. And to use the Lottie package that we had installed. You can call Lottie from React. Is it Lottie React? I think. Yeah, Lottie React. And let's add it here. Lottie. In the prop is animation data. We pass parrot to it. And let's close this tag. Save it. And okay so as you can see that we have our animation here and uh if you want to like keep it in a loop you can pass this loop is equals to true which is i think set true by uh, by default so yeah this is how you can add animations to your react 
or any project for that matter so so if you want to update the size of this animation you can do so by adding a div and giving a it a width you can give it any width that you want and oh sorry it should be div so once you save it the height will get updated as well so if you found this video interesting and you believe that you've learned something please drop a like share with your friends and subscribe and i'll see you on the next video